So we all know now that plastic waste is a global problem. More plastic than fish in the sea by 2050. We're concerned about plastic contamination of water sources on land. And we're worried about the impact of plastic on wildlife and human health. But what are we actually doing to divert plastic from the waste stream and to recycle it more responsibly? There's a lot that we can learn here in the UK and elsewhere in the developed world from the experiences of people in the developing world where they don't actually have reliable waste disposal. With a team here at Kiel and in the Philippines, I've been looking at how people in rural areas make really culturally important objects out of waste plastics. So one of the amazing things that we collected was a set of plastic beads made from fast food spoons, CD cases, and broken coat hangers, other kinds of random plastic waste that people melt down and experiment with. Another example is this plastic bag basket. It's made by people who work in the mines out of the wrappers for blasting caps. So once they're done with their prima debt, they strip off the pink and yellow plastic and turn it into this traditional backpack form. Again, this is upcycled plastic because it's culturally significant it's really solid and durable, and men, believe it or not, this being pink and yellow, love to wear it because it highlights their masculinity and it marks them as having a distinctive place in the global economy and being innovators with craft production. We've looked at the significance of repurposing these items for people in the Philippines, and now we're bringing this back to the UK. We're working with B Arts in Stoke-on-Trent to see how people in the UK can repurpose plastics, what they think of the material, and what it means to them in their daily lives. There's a lot of potential here for people to be become creative, innovative makers and take plastic waste in new directions in response to the crisis, there's far more that we can do to encourage innovation and help people find solutions with their own hands.